On today's Fit to Eat, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious baked fried like catfish with yogurt tartar sauce, grilled asparagus, and roasted red pepper slices. Rebecca Turner has a quick and easy way to make oatmeal. We travel to Indianola, Mississippi to check out Delta Pride Catfish, and my guest is the Director of Nutrition Services for the Mississippi State Department of Health, Donna Speed. It's gonna be a great show, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Fit to Eat. I'm your host, Rob Stinson. Today we have the Director of Nutrition Services for the Mississippi State Department of Health, Donna Speed. Donna has been a vital part of the Farm to Preschool program here in Mississippi and has trained over 7,000 child care staff through the Color Me Healthy Toolkit curriculum. It's a program that encourages more fruit and vegetable consumption and physical activity for kids in child care. Donna, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you all. That Glad is absolutely here. fantastic thank information. You. We do a lot of good things. With I mean, children. it really is, and you hear a lot of rhetoric about Mississippi, and I tell you what, when you hear about programs like this, it warms my heart because that's why we're here. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're here for so the babies. So we're going to talk, we're going to talk a lot more about that. Okay. Because I think it's really interesting to see that we've actually enacted programs, and as you were telling me before the show, really kind of breaking records nationwide in, a, in our own sense, uh, being the first to actually we do are. some of these. Yep. Okay, so here, let's get started on this one because this one has to go in the oven. Okay. And we're going to have a little fun. What we're doing on this is taking some beautiful, fresh Mississippi catfish. Okay. We're going to make it as if we're frying it, but we're going to bake it. But it's still going to have a nice crust. Oh, it'll be so much better. And, and actually gluten free too. So we're using flaxseed instead of any kind of wheat or barley. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring the bowl right to the center and put in that flaxseed. And you can get that in almost any superstore. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's readily it. available. Black pepper, a little white pepper, probably too much in there. I'm going to pull some back. Cayenne pepper. I like my spice, you know, you New like Orleans all your boy. Spices. Onion powder, salt free. Garlic powder, salt free. And then a little mustard. Okay. Just to give it kind of some pizzazz. Now I take and all I do is just kind of mix that together. Well, you don't need any salt if you have all those spices. You, you know, isn't that the truth? No salt and, and virtually trying to do this kind of fat free so we're not soaking this and deep frying it in oil. Okay, and you're you know? gonna dip it in the milk and the egg. Exactly. Just dip it. Exactly, so okay. watch, watch what we'll do. We're gonna take, and in here we have skim milk, so obviously the lightest that we can use. Okay. One egg, which we are going to use. Sometimes I leave the yolk out, but I tell you what, I find it just works better to have the yolk in there. That's not much yolk, though. That's, even if for someone watching their cholesterol, that little bit. Well, and think about it. When you dip okay. the fish in it, 90% of what's in there oh, is yeah, staying there. Oh, it's going to stay in there. You know, so it really isn't that much at all. All right, then what I do, we're going to trade some of this. Just spread this out because it's going to help coat the bottom of the fish as well. Get rid of that. And then take that fish and just kind of carefully baste it, if you would. And the other thing, and a lot of the flaxseed is not being used either. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're not really getting everything that's in that recipe. Look how easily that coats. If I wanted a heavier crust, I could double dip it too, couldn't I? Yeah, you know, well, you know what? Let's do this, because okay. that side came out kind of thin, and you still have virtually nothing. Look at how much is left on the plate. Oh yeah, it's all on the plate and in the bowl. Okay, so we're gonna take that. Now, if you would, if you would hand me that flat baking pan. Okay. What we're gonna do with this is just take a little bit of a zero fat spray just where the fish is. Okay. Would you mind holding that for me? We'll have a little fun on this one together. Yay. And then that's going to go right on that area. Then I have my little troca, my little trick. Oh, one, yes. just a simple spray, and it'll help to crisp it. Okay. You know, you're doing so well. I'm I've filing you. We're heading to the oven. Okay. 
Sounds his bottom good. oven is hot, and we'll just put it on that top pan. Perfect. Now, I like to fish, and I'm pretty good at it sometimes. So I could really use any type of fish that I could catch just about to do this, couldn't I? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And you know, it's a, I mean, look at this. Now, here is a great way to look at what we have left. So we really yeah. didn't eat much of the egg, much of the milk, much of the breadcrumbs. So it's really not too bad for you. We're going to oh, move yeah. this back yeah. here. Okay. Okay, now obviously, doing all this stuff, guys, I know nobody's going to remember all the recipes. So if you're interested in any of the recipes that you see on today's show, visit our webpage at mpbonline.org slash fit to eat or join, better yet, our Facebook page, MPB Fit to Eat. So let's talk a little bit about now all of the different programs, but what you're talking about and really working through child care, it's got to be so vital to start the kids early. It Talk is. Talk a little bit about it. First off, we've got to start every baby breastfeeding. That's what's more important than anything, to give them that good start to begin with. But what people don't realize is we are number two in the United States for the best nutrition guidelines in the child care setting. And some of the items that we have in our regulations are actually cited as best practices and are used by other states. Really? An example, we don't allow fish sticks, corn dogs, steak fingers. Nothing can be fried. They're not allowed to have Incredible. any type of soda. They uh, have to have two fresh fruits and one fresh vegetable every week. That's just fantastic, though. Oh, yeah. You know, because yeah. honestly, it's kind of when you learn the trade, so to speak, or when the kids learn their eating habits. Yeah. I mean, once they've started, it's half the battle. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, my gosh, that's fantastic. Now, the one problem we have, what I'd like to encourage all the parents to do, is to really talk to the children about eating the fruits and vegetables. Right. Because the centers are serving rutabagas, they're serving Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower. And if the parents don't join on board, it doesn't, right. doesn't follow through, right. huh? Right. All right, here's, we're going to have a, this is kind of one of my favorite little tricks, and people are going to look at this and say, what? This is actually roasting a uh, bell pepper. Okay. And it's, it's so easy to do if you have flame in your house. If you don't, if you don't have a gas stove, you can sear these in a pan. And I've actually done some that way. But we're going to use this because I love that fire roasted flavor that bell peppers get. Oftentimes, they'll use it to take the skin off. I like to leave the skin on. That's where Thank half the you. nutrients are, yeah. you know, so it's kind of, why change it? So what we're going to do is just kind of let this sit, and it actually sits right on top of the flame. Okay. And that'll be cooking for a few minutes that way. I've got them on the grill outside, too. Oh, do you? Yeah, mm -hmm. and that works fantastic. Yeah. I love, if you have access to a grill, to take your food outside. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's well, so nice. And you know what's so funny is that with the, the red and the orange and the yellow peppers, they're some of the highest vitamin packed foods because the brighter the color of the fruit and vegetable, the higher the right. vitamin and mineral content. Right. And this is something that a parent could grow in their backyard in a pot and let the children be engaged and help to grow some of their vegetables. Absolutely. You know, we had Felder Rushing, the Gestalt Gardener, oh, in yeah. here talking yeah. about how easy it is. And you know, that's true. People don't think about it, and as you look around the set right now, we got fresh herbs everywhere. Yeah. And I think yep. it's a growing trend people can buy into and have some fun with it, you oh, know? Yeah. I, I'll hear people all the time say, I can't grow anything. I'm telling you, some of this stuff just sprouts up so easily, it's, it's almost like a weed. You know, it really is. So what we're going to do, this is going to be a neat little twist on this, too. So we've got our baked, fried-like catfish. Okay. What do you always have with fried food is tartar sauce. All right, you know, one of the evils. I know you're not letting oh, yeah. kids eat that, right? No, so no. So we're going we're gonna, <laughs> to, when we come back, I'm going to show how easy it is with a plain non-fat yogurt okay. to substitute that for mayonnaise. Then add in your flavorings, which you pretty much in tartar sauce always have onion and, and pickle, like a dill pickle, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. which are also really virtually low in fat. So oh, yeah. you're keeping it as a healthy kind of version, and we're going to mix that all together and have a little bit of fun showing that even the sides can be healthy. Now we got to keep turning this little guy. Look how black That looks and all. delicious. Isn't it incredible? You've got to try and get the whole guy, and then I'm going to show them how to cut this. Okay. Believe it or not, I have people who ask me, how do you cut a bell pepper? And I thought, you know, I guess I've never done it because I just take it for granted. So we're going to slice the little, little, take the lid off, cut the sides. 
pull everything out and show them how easy okay, it is. Okay, to take the seeds Should be out. kind of fun. All right, well, let's go through, and I'm going to come back, get a little bit of housekeeping done, and we're going to go into... I'm going to turn your pepper. Thank you. Have some fun with that. Now, see, couldn't you picture kids having fun doing oh, this? Oh, yeah. If, yeah. If the parent was watching them, to be sure, and you had long tongs, or you were doing it on the grill where all they had to do mm -hmm. with a long spatula is flip it over. Well, we actually encourage doing taste testing using the orange, red, and yellow peppers and green peppers, and it's an activity letting the children taste of the different peppers and then voting on which one they like they the like best. They like the best. How neat. I've got a friend that calls it sweet candy when she does the bell peppers. Her kids come in the house. I've heard them. We want some of the sweet candy, and they're talking about bell peppers. I think it's neat. <laughs> okay, well, let's do this. Registered dietitian Rebecca Turner. Rebecca, sorry, I'll get your name right one day. Has a quick and easy way to make oatmeal. So stay tuned. The next time you rush out the door in the morning without something to eat, consider this. Skipping breakfast can set you up for overeating later in the day, making it hard to maintain a healthy weight. So no more excuses for not having time to cook a healthy breakfast when you can prepare your morning meal the night before. Today I'll show you how to cook a no-cook porridge that offers make-ahead convenience and is packed with nutrition to get your day off to a healthy start. Utilizing handy-dandy mason jars makes for a perfect serving size and an easy grab-and-go breakfast straight from the fridge. And the best part, it is supposed to be eaten cold. You know, the flavor combinations are endless, but I'm sharing my absolute favorite, peanut butter banana. And I bet you all already have these ingredients within your fridge or your pantry. Plain Greek yogurt, creamy or crunchy peanut butter, old-fashioned oats, honey, a banana, and some fresh milk. Now to get started, you're going to simply just pour these into your mason jar. I got started with one-third a cup of fresh milk. Next, I'm going to add a fourth a cup of plain Greek-style yogurt which has twice the amount of muscle building protein than regular yogurt. And getting the plain really cuts the sugar in half. We're gonna do one to two tablespoons of peanut butter. Again, you can choose creamy or crunchy, whichever you prefer. This is gonna add a nice heart healthy fat to your breakfast. It's really gonna help keep you full all morning long. Next, we're gonna do a fourth a cup of old fashioned oats. As you'll see later, this is what's going to really help soak up all of the liquid and give it a creamy texture. Don't worry if you make a mess, you can just clean it up when you're done. Now for a little bit of sweetness, we're going to add one tablespoon of honey. It also offers a whole lot of flavor. Now last, we're going to add a half to a whole sliced banana. Now here comes the fun part. You're gonna put the top on, make sure it's good and secure, and you're gonna give this bad boy a shake, shake, shake to make sure you get all of those good ingredients combined together. Now you'll pop this into the fridge for overnight and it's gonna end up looking like this in the morning. The oats are really going to soften and absorb all of that liquid and they're gonna have a great eating texture by the next day. You can take it along to work or really anywhere. This breakfast is high in protein, calcium, and fiber, but the best, it's low in fat and sugar. This is a breakfast that is surely fit to eat. Thanks, Rebecca. Preparing your breakfast the night before is a great way to make sure you get a healthy start to your day. I don't know if I would have thought of that. Fantastic idea. Mm -hmm, it is. So, all right, let's come over here, because here's okay, what we're going to cool. do. Tartar sauce, simple. Yogurt, all right, as easy as it is. Our pickle, our onion, because you have to have both of those in tartar sauce. Now, there's one other thing. It's got to have hot sauce. We make our own tartar sauce. You have to. And this is just a little garlic powder. Again, doesn't add okay. salt, but it, it makes it consistent throughout to get a really nice flavor. Let's move those out the way. And I tell you what I'm going to have you do. I you mind just start? stirring that up a little bit? I'd love to. We're just going to mix that up. And then I'm going to have a little fun with this bell pepper. Yay. All right, beautiful job of roasting it. So I'm going to set it right in the center. 
First thing I always do would be just to cut the top off. And then inside it has three little sinews that hold it together. Mm -hmm. I want to move those off and cut the bottom off. Now with the roasting, you've got a lot of the blackening, but that's good stuff, good flavor. Open it up and look at that. I mean, that is so that's easy. That's nice. I mean, anybody can do that and then just cutting them so you've got them in nice pieces. And I love the flavor that they get. We just happen to have a hot pan over here. So what yes. we're gonna do is another quick spray of our fat free and then throw those in. Cook them just a little bit more with some onion, julienne onion. And then I like to season it with a little black pepper. And I tell you what, if you want to take those tongs and move it around okay. while I'm doing this, we'll get you involved in this. Just a little bit more. No uh, white pepper, just red. No, white that, pepper that's going to head into the into the asparagus. When I season that asparagus, I like to use it where you don't really see it on the asparagus. Okay. We are going to add a little basil, but you know what we're going to do to deglaze? My own little favorite trick. Just a little bit of vegetable stock. Gives it such a good flavor. It's no salt, no mm -hmm. fat, so it's wonderful you can't and healthy. Beat that. And I tell you what, as fast as that is, see how we do. You can do that. I would spill it. <laughs> All right, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a little of the basil in so some cooks in. Then I love to throw some at the end so it stays. You know, you made a comment I did not forget. Vibrant vegetables are full of nutrients. Correct. I have this firm belief that if you cook vegetables to the point where they brown, they're overcooked. They are. I absolutely do not like doing that. You know, each one of my restaurants, we pan sear all the vegetables to order. I think it's just the best way to get the best flavor, and people, they just love them. They constantly comment about them. Well, and you put just a little bit of fluid in here, not much. You know, right. when we put a pan full of water, then we're diluting the nutrient value That's right. there, too. And it's literally only taking some of that seasoning off the pan. Mm -hmm. We can turn the heat off on these, and I tell you what. That smells delicious. Oh, they came out so good. All we're going to do on this is move them to a side plate so they quit cooking because I like to use the same pan so we don't have to season it again. Okay, because that's going to have know? all the flavor in it. Exactly. So we're, we're just going to set that there, and now I get to put a little of that fresh basil right on top, and it'll wilt as we're cooking the next course. Okay. So I tell you what. So let's talk a little bit more about the kids. Okay. I tell you, the one thing that I really see is it seems to be parents a little bit more focused on what they have, but then they don't have the follow-through to know what to do. So this is what you're starting, basically. Yes, yes. And, you know, parents, they really want to prepare good, healthy foods for their children, but a lot of our parents just have not cooked a whole lot. So watching your show, Fit to Eat, is a great resource. Now, you've got tons of recipes on your website. We sure do. And then through the Department of Health website, which is www.healthyms.com, we have over 135 healthy recipes. Wow. And Let's go check our catfish. What you say? Yeah. Come on. If you'll grab that door, I'm going to pull a pan out and we'll take a look, because I bet you we are just about oh, perfect. Oh, looks per yeah. Oh, my gosh, huh? Look how perfect. Yes. Tell me that does not look like it was fried. It does. I and wonder I don't if see we any can... grease anywhere. I mean, none. 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 Yep. I hope we can get a close-up. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look fried. Yeah. That's fantastic. All right, well, you know what? We just happened today on our Down on the Farm segment. We're traveling to Indianola, Mississippi to check out Delta Pride Catfish, a homegrown Mississippi company that is an industry leader in the farming and processing of premium catfish, and I use them at every restaurant. Fantastic product, so stay tuned. We're the most sustainable fish industry in the country. Uh, sustainability has become a big issue now with all the retailers and restaurant operators. Well, we've been st sustainable for 50 years. We just didn't know what to call it. Uh, people ask me why it's, it's a good product, number one. It tastes good, uh, it's nutritious, it's healthy. A four ounce portion of, of catfish is gonna have about 100 calories, where beef and pork is gonna be twice that. Uh, a skin on chicken breast is gonna be even higher. 
So it's, it's very nutritious compared to the other main center of the plate proteins that are available to us. On the farm raised catfish, you know, we feed our fish a, a feed that's made from grains, primarily corn and soybeans. It has minerals added to it, some, a few vitamins, but mostly natural products. Um, and this is a floating feed that floats on the surface, so the feed, fish feed off the surface of the water. They're not feeding off the bottom in the mud. We've got a long way to go. This industry will continue to grow. We've had some ups and downs recently with high cost of production uh, and the imports, but this industry uh, is, is healthy today. Uh, grain prices are down, fish farmers are back making money, and I think this industry will start growing and uh, there's really no end to how much Mississippi U.S. farmers catfish we can sell. And, and it's been a fabulous economic uh, benefit to our state. Uh, at one time, a few years ago, I heard that we, we were employing over 15,000 people within just four or five counties right here around us. And that's tremendous, uh, providing that many jobs. Uh, you know, the, the feed mills, the uh, that companies that make the sains and the harvesting equipment, the aeration equipment, the processing plants, so it touched a lot of industries here in the Mississippi Delta. And it's been good for the state. If you want to learn more about Delta Pride catfish, you can check them out at deltapride.com. And I tell you what, I was not making that up earlier. I use their product in almost every restaurant I have. It is the best in the world and why. All right, we were talking about that. Yes, because you know how that fish has been raised. And That's there's right. standards, there's guidelines, there's regulations. They're not burrowing down into some salty dirt, which is what clean. gave catfish a dirty taste years ago. Yeah. You really don't see it at all here. Now, elsewhere in the country, you might. Yeah. And elsewhere, too, I believe that they do kind of overcrowd the fish. They don't take care of them like we do here in Mississippi, especially. So well, that's southern, southern hospitality <laughs> for our catfish, huh? Yeah, we take care of them. All right. Well, you know, we're, we're going to do the last little portion of this, and it's probably one of my all-time favorites, which is asparagus. Okay. And I thought, okay, here, here's where we really kind of balance the meal out. You have the fried like catfish, which I think is going to come out just perfect. You've got the wonderful kind of roasted red bell pepper, onion, basil, which I just love that blend. Oh, yeah. Fresh herbs make Smells. a dish. So on this, and then you had made, you know, interesting comment, tartar sauce. We differ a little bit. Mm -hmm. She likes her onion fine chopped. I like it a little chunky. So guys, you could take that and throw it in a food processor. That's what I would you do. You could make a big batch of that, as a matter of fact. You could almost hope that your kids eat it, yeah. you know, because it's, it's all protein. Mm -hmm versus what mayonnaise would be, which is all fat. All fat. Yeah. So we've got our pan hot here. Again, one quick blast, no more. And then what we're going to do, now this is kind of fun. We have a little bit of onion powder. I'm going to mix it together with our white and our black. And all we're going to do is just lightly season the asparagus before we throw it in there. And then maybe a little dash and I've got some more vegetable stock to deglaze okay. it with. Okay. So in it goes. And you know, I was sharing with you too, I have asparagus that's growing in my yard. It takes three years for it to grow, but I can go out there and pick stalks this tall, Gosh. and they're tender all the way down, and just eat it. You know, and it kind of it kind of leads into something else we wanted to talk about, farmer's markets. And people going there, you have to plan when you buy there though, and you made a comment to me that I wanted to pass on. If you go there and you find a lot of onions, you find beautiful bell peppers, you can take those. I'm going to actually already get this in. Okay. I was gonna and it'll help steam them. And then my other trick is water. Okay. A little water and it really helps those kind of cook. But, um, you know, you can get that and then take them, chop them, dice them, do whatever you want, bag them and freeze them. Right. I did that with fresh peaches all summer long. <sighs> I would go and oh. the ladies would sell me the peaches that were a little bruised. Right for next to nothing. And they are excellent, because those are probably some that might even be riper, too. Yeah, great Unbelievable. and smoothie. Unbelievable, great idea. All right, so let's start plating this, because this is going to be a fun one. We're going to put a nice color contrast to the plate, take some of our tartar sauce that we made, put over on the side, Okay. move the beautiful roasted red bell pepper, onion, and basil over on this side of the fish. And I tell you what, I already get the aroma, huh? Mm -hmm. 
A little now, bit more water here. I was teasing you about the fish. And you know, this is a good sized portion because we don't need very much meat. It but really like is. our children, even a three year old only needs like one and a half fingers. They Isn't that only incredible? need a small piece of meat. Jeez. And we try to give our children too, too much, much food. food. They and need we, a fourth and we think, a cup of something. And we probably think we're doing something good by doing that too. Right, right. Look how pretty this comes out. Oh, that looks delicious. All right, now the only way to end it, I take some of these fresh herbs that are over here, and I like to break them in my fingers because I can smell them that way. Sprinkle some over here, sprinkle some on the fish, kind of mix mash them. I'll tell you what. That looks delicious and smells yeah, delicious. I'll tell you what. Yeah, we're getting hungry looking at this. Yep. I am. Um, I got a hunch that the crew is not going to get a whole lot of this. No, we're going to eat it. All right, so listen. If you need any of the recipes that you see on today's show, visit our webpage at mpbonline.org slash fit to eat, or better yet, join our Facebook page, MPB Fit to Eat. And did we tell them where they can go to get more information from you? HealthyMS.com. HealthyMS.com. That's, That's the Mississippi State Department of Health. And then we have 125 to 135 recipes on there. Try the black bean dip, it's delicious. Awesome, awesome. Well, I tell you what, with food like this, I hate to say it, huh, but we got some work ahead of us. Yes, yeah, we do, and that's okay. So I absolutely have got to thank our guest, Donna Speed. It has been such a pleasure having you here. It's thank informative, you. it's always fun. And I tell you what, guys, eat well. I'm your chef, Rob Stinson. Gosh, we're gonna eat well right now. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs>